Yo, what is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel and today we are starting a Buffalo Bills franchise as you can tell by the title of the episode. Wanted to start another Madden 19 franchise in Madden 17 I believe. Maybe that one was called Madden 25. I can't quite remember. I did a big nice a nice Minnesota Vikings franchise where we went a few years deep, I believe three years, and I ended up winning the Super Bowl. Not as long as I'd like to go in a franchise or dynasty, but we still did a pretty decent long one. But last year, we did a Miami Dolphins one that only went about six or seven weeks. So I was very disappointed in that. I got around to like trying to get back in the franchise at the end of the year last year, and I kind of wanted to make videos over it, but it was already too late in the year for me to really come back with the Dolphins one or make a new one and go very far in that one as well. So I told you in the last episode of the channel update video, it was between the Bills and the Colts, and I did have a comment for the Bills that you guys wanted to see that one, which I'm totally okay for because... The Colts had their QB situation figured out and Andrew Luck, but the Bills, on the other hand, that is tough with Nathan Peterman and Josh Allen. I'm not quite sure who I'm going to go with, but we'll have to find out as this series goes along if either if either, either of them are going to be our future QBs or if any of them will play any part uh, of the future of the Buffalo Bills. If you watch them on Sunday, then you would know that they are not a very good football team this year. They got blown out 47-3 to against the Baltimore Ravens, who aren't usually a team that you might think you'd get blown out against, a very defensive heavy and really power team. But they really took it to the Bills over the weekend. So that was tough. That was tough for all Bills fans. But I'm here to see brighter days for the Buffalo Bills and really rebuild them, get them back into the playoffs, and maybe get them a Super Bowl. We'll have to see. We have Alex Manning, the Kansas Dynasty strong safety, uh, big time recruit, big time player. I wish we could have seen out his full four years in that dynasty. But we're moving on this year once the rosters are complete for NCAA. Uh, 14, the 2018-2019 rosters, but today we are all focused on the Buffalo Bills. You see Josh Allen's rating 74 overall, and he has a 99 throw power, but the accuracy is just not there. I go into a practice later, and you'll see a couple of times he misses some throws. Nathan Peterman is also has a pretty good throw power, but the accuracy, once again, is just not there. There's not great QBs out there, and LaShawn McCoy is still here. He's a great running back, but Part of me almost thinks that we could get rid of him this year and trade him for some valuable draft picks because he's 30 years old. He's 90 overall. I say he gets another year or two of being around 90 overall before he really starts regressing. And I don't know if the next year or two if we're really going to be contenders in the playoffs. And I feel like it could be better used for some draft picks or something like that. But I also know that isn't the most realistic thing to trade some trade a running back like that just for some draft picks. Usually they would wait their contract out and then let them go to free agency so you guys let me know what you want to see from LaShawn McCoy would you like to see me trade him would you like to see me just let his rest of his career ride out or rest of his contract ride out with the Buffalo Bills I didn't actually ever check what his contract was but um, I'm sure he's coming up towards the end of the deal about a year or two maybe even three more years but we could definitely get rid of him you guys have to let me know what you want to see from there the offensive line is not very good the wide receiver core other than Kelvin Benjamin is not very good at all Zay Jones is up there he looks like he could be def he could help us out in the long run he has some good potential but then we have Charles Clay at tight end Tremaine Edmonds on defense is very nice Kyle Williams is getting up there in age. He's a good defensive tackle. Tredavious White is very good, but we kind of drop off from there. I actually signed another quarterback in a little bit in this episode. Uh, just went off the practice squad. Looked like a decent guy, but I'll explain him later. Tredavious White is going to be very nice to have, but the rest of them I'm not quite sure about. Micah Hyde at free safety, and Jordan Poyer at strong safety. The safety positions are locked down, and that's very nice to have, especially here in the near future. Um, but right now, if I had to say what, what we need to improve within a year, year or two was probably the quarterback position figure out what we're going to do at running back add another receiver or two fix the o-line and fix the linebacking core and even add another cornerback Tredavious White is nice but we're going to need more than that and that's going to take a lot of work but it's something that that this franchise is going to need and that's exactly why I take on some of these challenges of franchise some of the more tougher ones you won't see me come out with a New England Patriots franchise unless Brady retires Gronk leaves Belichick leaves and that yeah, just goes to crap so We'll have to see how this one plays out, but we do uh, sign 
Trayvon LeBlanc, if that's how you say it. If I'm saying that wrong, then make sure you let me know. Um, I do sign him out the practice squad. He's 20, I think, what is it, 22, 23 years old? Actually, he might have been 25. Now that I think about it. But he's a 76 overall, so that's 75. That's not too bad to uh, just have as our third or fourth cornerback on the team, especially when we had four or five corners on the team, so we need a little bit more depth anyway. I just looked through the list and saw him on there and signed him from the practice squad just to a one-year deal, and we'll have to see how he plays out throughout the year. But my envisions for this team are, right now I do see myself trading LaShawn McCoy for at least a first. I'd have to get a first round pick for LaShawn McCoy from whatever team I want to trade him to. Otherwise, I'd just have to wait for him and see his career stay here until the end of the contract. But I would, I do need a first round pick, just get as get as much draft loaded picks as I can get and then I do see myself right now before the year starts I do see myself drafting a quarterback with probably my first pick um, I also see myself drive, drafting a running back or two a lot of skill positions in my first two years I do um, envision us taking I just don't know Nathan Peterman is definitely not the answer and we'll have to see how Josh Allen uh, progresses in the series to see if he's going to be um, our QB of the future or not because right now he's 74 overall but he's 22 years only has quick development but I don't think that's going to get him much higher than maybe around an 80 overall unless he plays very good so we'll have to see how that kind of works out with Josh Allen I do right now think I might start with Nathan Peterman like they did in real life for a couple of weeks and let Allen progress maybe like maybe give him four or five weeks just progressing in practice and see how far I can get maybe the accuracy up and see how that one goes but by week five if he's not the starting quarterback then Nathan Peterman's probably playing out of his mind and we are probably four no that is probably the what's gonna have to happen if Josh Allen doesn't start by week five but I do envision him starting in week five for all of you guys wondering but right now I think I'm gonna start with Nathan Peterman LaShawn McCoy I'm gonna keep for a couple of weeks probably unless in the comment section you guys tell me you want to see LaShawn McCoy go as soon as possible which is understandable if you guys do make sure you let me know who I should or if I should trade him right away wait towards the trade deadline and what you think I absolutely should have to get back for LaShawn McCoy I'm thinking at least the first round and probably another two picks one that can't be later than a third round and then another one that's just kind of a dump like a fifth or sixth round pick so a first a third and a fifth or sixth for a 30 year old Sean McCoy I don't think would be that bad especially when we're in quite the rebuild right now we will not be contending for the playoffs I highly doubt it this year unless we play very good and the defense just really gels because the passing game isn't there the running game with Sean McCoy is hopefully going to be there but you don't really know and the offensive line is just so bad and you see a lot of times like right now uh, the offensive line just is not good they don't have the awareness to pick up the blitz they don't even have the ability to block one-on-one -on -one. it's just going to be a tough year and then you have throws like that from Josh Allen when a guy is breaking up on a slant that could make this a very long year but that's what we're here for we're here to rebuild the Buffalo Bills and for all you Bills fans I'm here to rebuild the Buffalo Bills for you and give you some enjoyment to watch um, I do. I am going to use Mr. Hurricane sliders for those of you wondering. Um, I always need a good slider set. As you see, Josh Allen actually shows some mobility here. I'm not quite sure if that was a catch or not, but um, I'm using Mr. Hurricane slider set because he usually gives me good sliders throughout every single year, and I watch his franchises, and they seem to play out very well, get some good storylines too, and that just always seems to happen in our franchises um, and people's franchises. You just get some crazy storylines that you won't get if you just play a one-year franchise, and then that's it. You just go win. Super Bowl so that's what I'm excited to do for this series is to bring you but if you do want to know the slider set make sure you let me know I'll bring it before I start week one episode um, I can show you guys all the sliders if not go to Mr. Hurricane's channel he has his episode one I believe of his Dolphins franchise which is actually weird because I did the Dolphins last year I actually tried and they should be on there if they are not then I can I will definitely put them in the comment section or in the next video I'll show you I do put them in at the end of the day but that is the end of the day after you see Kelvin Benjamin make this incredible catch. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, hit the, hit the like button. If you're new, subscribe. And as always, I'm out. Peace.